Hey, I'm a whiskey man myself. Don't have much trouble from drugs around where I come from. Ah, uh, you will. One of these days you'll wake up and find a junkie tearing your bedroom apart. No. And he'll climb right into your bed and sit on your chest with a big bowie knife. Hey, rum and ice? You know the one of them California boys? Yeah. Yeah. Your buddy here is just telling me all about the dope fiends you got down there. Oh, Christ, they're everywhere, man. Nobody's safe. Sure as hell not in the south. They like that warm weather. Yeah. In L.A., it's out of control. First it was drugs. Now it's witchcraft. Witchcraft? You gotta be shitting me, man. Great newspapers, man. Trust me, you don't know real trouble till you have to face down a bunch of these addicts gone crazy for human sacrifice. Human sacrifice? <laughs> bunch of science fiction stuff, man. Not where we operate. Reality is in Malibu alone, this goddamn Satan worshippers kill six or eight people every day. They'll take people right off the street if they have to. All they want is the blood. You know, just the other day we had a case where they grabbed a little girl right out of McDonald's hamburger stand. She's a waitress, about 16 years old. A lot of people watching. What happened? What'd they do to her? Do? Jesus Christ, they chopped her goddamn head off right there in the parking lot and cut all kinds of holes in her and sucked out the blood, man. Let me get this straight. You're telling me they pull a the little girl out of the McDonald's hamburger stand. Mm -hmm. They take her out in the parking lot, all these people standing around, cut her head off, right. suck the blood out, nobody does a goddamn thing. What could they do? The guy that took the head was about 6'7", 300 pounds, just packing Lugers and M16s. Oh, no. They just ran back out into Death Valley, same place where Manson turned out. Yeah, like big lizards. Every one of them start naked. Naked? Yeah, naked. Naked, except for their weapons, you know. They're all veterans. Veterans? Yeah, the big guy used to be a major in the Marines. Major? Uh, we know where he lives. Can't get near the house, you know. No. Not a major. Well, he wanted a pineal land, you know. Really? Yeah. That's how he got so big. When he when he quit the Marines, he was just a little guy. Usually it's whole families. During the night? Most of them don't even wake up until they feel their heads going and then shit, it's too late. Happens every fucking day. Uh, three more rums, plenty of ice, and uh, maybe a handful of lime chunks. Thanks. Are you guys with that um, police convention upstairs? We sure are, ma'am. That's so. I never heard that kind of talking this far before. Jesus Christ, how do you guys stand that kind of work? I like it. It's groovy. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Somebody's got to do it. God damn it, I hate to hear that. You know why? Because everything that starts in California ends up out our way, sooner or later. Mostly Atlanta. Of course, that was back when the bastards was peaceful. All we had to do was keep their ass under surveillance, you know? They didn't move around much. But now, God damn, seems like nobody's safe. Uh, well, you know, you're gonna have to take the bull by the horns. Go to the map with this guy. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. We've done it before, we damn well do it again. Cut their goddamn heads off, every one of them. That's what we're doing in California. What? Sure, it's all in the QT, but everybody that matters is with us all the way down the line. Man. Yeah, we keep it quiet. It's not the kind of thing you want to talk about upstairs. I mean, shit, the press around? Hell no. Never hear the goddamn end of it. That's right. Dobermans don't talk. Dobermans? Well, you know, sometimes it's easier just to uh, rip out the back straps. Oh, yeah, because they fight like hell if you try to take the head without dogs. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can tell my wife about this, you know? She, she, she wouldn't understand this shit. You know how women are. They don't know shit. Well... 
Just be thankful that your heart is young and strong. Bitch, ain't it? I was home in Long Beach last night and somebody said that they were running the Mint 400. So I says to my old lady, man, I'm going. So she started giving me a load of crap about it, so I started slapping her around. Next thing I know, two dudes I never even known before are beating me stupid. They give me 10 bucks and put me on a bus and I woke up here in downtown Vegas. And for just a minute, I was thinking, Oh, Jesus, who's divorcing me this time? But then I remembered, by God, I'm here for the Mint 400. And I want to tell you, it is a pleasure to be here with you people. Good this is just wonderful, goddammit. Send this man what he needs. Just wonderful, goddammit. Bring us ten. Back it. Oh. Oh, this is a magic moment in sport. <laughs> Once I did the Triple Crown. Please. You'd be so handsome if you'd just stand up. Smoke soda, please. Please. I love life. Woo! It's great out there. <laughs> <laughs> See out there. What do you have? Hmm? Let's see. Valentine Hill. Yes, sir. All right. Well, you don't see them served up like that anymore, do you? Where are you coming from, young man? Vegas. Ah, great town, that Vegas. Bet you had good luck there. You're the type. Yeah, I know. I'm a triple Scorpio. Ah, that's fine combination. You can't lose. This is my granddaughter. Yeah, right. And I'm the district attorney from Inyono County. <laughs> Just another good American like yourself, sir.
Christian. God's mercy on you, swine! <laughs>